Hello everyone, we're going to show you how to make Pac-Man. So we're going to start by adding mesh sphere. And we're going to change the segments to 40 and the rings up to 40. Like this, size 2. We scroll in. Now we're going to edit mode. And you see the red line over here. So we're going to select faces. And we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sideways, 1, 2, 3. Let's right click on that one. And this will be the eye. So shift right click on these four. And symmetrically to the other side, which is the same four. We're going to press E. And go a little inside. Not much. Something like that. And we're going to extrude again E to the outside just above the level like that I'm going to add subdivision surfaces we're going to put it at three like this okay now we're going uh, back going to the middle and we're going to select these four just select one right click on it hold down the shift button and select the other ones do the same over here e a little inside e again a little outside just above the level like that and now we're going to add the colors uh, so colors new and we choose yellow switch to yellow density one and we're going to add another color so plus we're going to call that color black and select that. Now we say if you selected the mouth, the nose over here, we can say assign and it will be black. And we're going to select these four, which we're going to give the color blue. So we're going to add another color, new blue. And we're going to choose blue intensity one. We're going to say assign. Okay, now the only thing that we have left is uh, the mouth. But before we do that, uh, we're going to apply that. Otherwise, you get not very nasty shapes. So, going to object mode, and we're going to say apply. Good. Now we're going to add a cube, cube, which we're going to position in the front of the Pac-Man, like this, and we're going to edit mode. So, switch to edit mode. And we're going to vertex selection. So we left click on that one and we right click on the first one, hold down the shift button and right click on the other four vertices like this. Now we're going to press SZ because we want to shrink both to the center like that. Not too far, something like this. Now we're going to edge selection over here, right click on that edge shift right click on the other edge with the right of the click of the mouse now we're going to use ctrl b to bevel we're going to make these a little round so if you move aside you see that these flat sides turn up now before we touch anything we roll the mouse in the middle and we roll a few times a lot and now we move the mouse back and forwards until we get a very round shape not too much like this it's better to leave a little opening than to go too far left mouse click so this is done now we go to face selection and we're going to select the right side of the face and the left side hold down the shift button and the left side of the face and we're going to press s y we're going to enlarge it you could do it side by side also it's not an important so when this is done, go back to object mode and we're going to bring in the cube into Pac-Man. And this will be the mouth. So go. you can position it where you want. So when this is done, we're going to select this uh, sphere by right clicking on it. And we're going to add a modifier which is called boolean and uh, before we put in the object otherwise you will calculate too much 
uh, we're going to say instead of intersect we're going to use differences so select that one and now you can select the cube what he's going to do now he's going to calculate now because this sphere has a lot of uh, faces and flop mine is a very slow computer so he disappears now for a few minutes uh, ah, he's already done it now what he's going to do is he's going to make the difference from the cube to the sphere so he uh, retract every point of it now uh, when this is done you can press apply become okay he will calculate a few things more and when this is done we uh, can switch off the cube when the, first of all in the screen and then later on this is in the screen uh, later on I won't be love it to render so I won't s s I would like to see it so in here you have your Pac-Man the only thing now left is to position the camera and therefore we're going to press N with your uh, cursor on the screen uh, and we're going to press zero on the memory keyboard so this is rather looking okay if this is not lock your camera view and position wherever you want it to see when this is done press zero on your memory keyboard and unlock that and we're going to position the light somewhere over here going to copy by shift d and we're going to position it on the other side like that and we're going to have a quick look render now you see it's too dark over here that's because the light is not correctly positioned so we go back over here and we're going to bring that light or the other light i don't know a little lower until the mouth we're going to render again and you'll see that on top it is like this so you can play around a little bit with the, the lightning uh, and you come to a certain result but i want to show you uh, in a very short tutorial how you can make very easy a pac-man so if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching